best time ever. It was like the perfect day for a unicorn out there. I mean, it was just magical. <laughs> like, that's all I can say. How you feeling? Really tired, but really fulfilled. There's no other race like the Boston Marathon. That is Helen O'Berry in full flight right now. I felt good. I got psyched, and then I just kept picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. You look yeah. great out there. Uh, I didn't always feel great. Sometimes I saw the camera and I would, you know, do that. But I got to tell you, it's amazing when you think of these elite runners mm -hmm. who finish this not just in half the time I do it in, but in about two hours to think that they go that fast. It takes me more than twice as long to do that. I it's mean, incredible. We're looking at the crowds going by, but what's it like to be in the midst of all those people? It, it just, it almost, it, uh, nonstop, I think, is the best way to describe it. It just, you constantly are to the next person and they can see you kind of slowing down and they say, come on. Come on, buddy, you can do this. It's just so constant. And a credit to them, they're out there all day just cheering people on. So it's a lot, it's a marathon for them too. I know Kevin was telling you, don't go out too fast, kind of yeah. take your time. But when you're with all those people, do you kind of feel the need to kind of stay up with them? You, you certainly feel pulled along by yeah. the crowd. Right? You, you come out and it's downhill, you're excited, you've been waiting to run. So, but I still dialed it back as much as I could. Mm -hmm. Didn't necessarily help me in the end there, but. Uh, it, it was so much fun just to be in that crowd, though. And uh, you know, I've watched this so many times. We were here last year watching all these runners, and to be in the crowd, to be part of it, have that perspective was awesome. How was the heat? The heat was a bit much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hit uh, every water and Gatorade station I think there was <laughs> on the course out there. That was probably very smart. <laughs> Uh, well, as we've been saying all day, uh, the New Hampshire runners, many of them were doing it for charity, including a very familiar face running for the first time. Stephanie Shaheen, the daughter of New Hampshire Senator Jean Shaheen, put in her miles for the Jocelyn Diabetes Center in honor of her daughter, Ellie, who has type 1 diabetes. It's been there for her family every step of the way. Stephanie Shaheen's Boston Marathon run is benefiting an organization based close to the finish line. The Jocelyn Diabetes Center has offered vital care to her daughter Ellie since the very start of her journey with type 1. Type 1 diabetes, as cliche as they miss, this may sound, is like a marathon. It's hard on the body, it's hard on the emotions. It's daunting. I mean, I. I vividly remember the nights of pricking fingers in the middle of the night to figure out if she needed to have more sugar, or if she needed to have more insulin. And so often, Jocelyn was our lifeline. Ellie has participated in Jocelyn's clinical trials, and the center is at the forefront of cutting-edge care. I do believe that, you know, in our lifetimes, it is possible to imagine a cure for diabetes, and certainly our ability to help people with diabetes live normal lives. I think having a team like that behind me that is so not just knowledgeable, but really is focused on trying to cure type 1 diabetes is has been so special. And I know that it's rare to have people in your corner like that. Stephanie is hopeful there will be a cure someday for Ellie and others thanks to cell therapy. I envision a day in the not too distant future uh, where we will be making the cells here in New Hampshire and Jocelyn will be administering the trials that test the cells. Until then, Stephanie plans to continue to advocate for those living with this disease. Not enough people have access to Jocelyn doctors. Not enough people have access to the technology. Not enough people can go to the pharmacy and know they can afford their insulin. That's, that's just not acceptable. We gotta do better. And Stephanie ran the race in six hours, 16 minutes and four seconds, and she has raised close to $38,000 for her charity.
So how does it feel to finish? Amazing. Yeah. I feel so grateful for the opportunity and I'm so glad it's behind me and that it, we got across the finish line. How, how was the weather? It was a little hotter than usual, so how did that affect you? It was hot. It was hot and I've been wrestling with an injury on my knee, so I just wanted to finish. I felt really good toward the end and then a young woman was struggling and was clearly dehydrated and she wanted to stop and I just stopped with her and we, we got in together uh, in the last mile. So, I, you know, it was... That's what it's all about. It certainly is. That's the spirit of this marathon. But Stephanie, congratulations. Her daughter was saying, you know, when my mom puts her mind to something, she does it and she did it. So congratulations to them. Congrats to her. And, and I was back with the charity runners. There are so many people out there that no doubt have raised thousands of dollars on their own and millions as a whole. It was incredible. And so many people like Stephanie who are running for someone so important to their lives so and nice for organizations that have done so much for them. All right, more to come from the Tuscan Kitchen Seaports. Stay with us. Coming up next, a Plastow mom runs to raise awareness for her twins with one word that keeps her going, hope.